This is Oscar Bevis for the stomping ground, powered by Wow Hydrate and available on his own. Wow, what a performance. Bam, appreciate you giving me some of your time as well. Just your initial reaction to a short and sweet stint in the ring tonight? Yeah, I mean, uh, I honestly expected for the fight to go that way. I didn't expect it to go that quick, but I knew I was going to get the knockout eventually. Yeah, when you go into a fight and you've been looking as dangerous and putting people away like you have, are you walking into the ring going, I want to end this in this certain amount of time? Or are you playing for the longer rounds and it's genuinely just your power and your finishing ability that's making stuff like that? Yeah, exactly. Um, every fight, I don't, I don't go in there looking for the knockout. They just happen to come. I just want to go in there, um, do what I do and look as good as possible. And it just somehow happens that the knockouts come. Yeah. Is that finishing instinct something you learn or is that something you're born with, do you think? I've always been born with it. Um, anytime I've seen, even since the amateurs, if I've seen them hurt, I, I like to get them out. Yeah, a serious shot to finish with as yeah. well. Just talk me through that punch. Yeah, I mean, just sidestep and right uppercut just landed perfectly and that was it. Yeah. You make it sound so easy. <laughs> um, what's your preference? I know obviously there's loads of options on the table, not just at the weight you're at now, above and, you know, fantasy fights people are talking about, but what is the Bam Rodriguez preference? Uh, any unification fight at 115. Um, I have maybe two more fights here at this weight class and then move up and just get some fights at 118. Yeah. How important or is it important for you to become undisputed? Uh, that's something I've, I've always wanted to do since I've seen, you know, recently a lot of more fighters have been becoming undisputed. So just seeing them with all the belts, it's motivating and something I want to be a part of. But it's not something you would let hold you back, for example? No, I mean, something you'd I, can, I, mean I, can't, I can't stay at 115 forever. So if the fights don't happen, then I'm going to have no choice but to move up. Yeah. What sort of conversations are you going to have with Eddie? I know obviously Riyadh season opportunities will be on the table. Um, I guess fights in San Diego, Philly have obviously loved you. What sort of conversations are you going to be having with Eddie about where you're going to be fighting next uh, to I mean, I don't know. That's, that's really up to him. I would love to fight in my hometown, San Antonio, Riyadh season as well. Anything really, any big fight interests me. So whatever Eddie has planned, then let's do it. Yeah. And just a word on the whole week in Philly. Um, Philly have enjoyed you. You've obviously enjoyed Philly and yeah. got your win. How's this week been for you? Uh, it's been cool. It's just any other fight week. Um, just glad it's over, really. Ready to go home. I've been away from home for almost two months or over two months now so just want to go home and enjoy my family.